nice of Discord to notify me in any kind of way that you were calling, but you know. Ooh. There we go, go fast. Go fast. And I'll share my screen to you, mon frere. Hell yeah. So, uh, what do you remember about last time we did you miss like, the last recording session? So you missed our trip to Makalania Temple. Yeah, um, what do I remember last? How much do you remember? Remember that we were in one of those dungeons trying to get like the destruction orb or whatever it was called? Oh yeah, well that's the thing, we're doing that again now because we're in Makalania Temple where we get Shiva! So if you could do me a we big were... favour for Big Cheeks. Yeah. And just look up Makalania Temple's um, uh, solution. How the fuck do I spell that? Makalania Temple. Just put Shiva. FFX Shiva Temple. Shiva. Destruction Sphere. FFX. Because this is probably going to take us like 20, 30 minutes. Because even if you do it perfectly, it still takes you a good five minutes. Uh, 25 minutes. Because it's just like the awkwardness of watching the cutscene. Because you've got to slide a bunch of stuff around. And well, Luke's okay. doing that. Folks in chat, how's the sound sounding? Because I can't edit it after the fact for YouTube. And the couple episodes have been <laughs> wildly different in uh, volume and uh, audio quality. Because right yeah, now you sound I like sound a little okay. bit underwater. Yeah, you sound like a little bit underwater, but it could just be my headphones. Could be my end, maybe. We'll yeah. see. It's probably because you've got like your pop filter on, so your voice actually sounds. It sounds a lot smoother than it would in real life. Yeah, yeah. We've got the addition of all that electronic um, engineering. Well, yeah, we're out through the door. Let's go. Uh, sound sounds good. Uh, okay. So how far through Kimari's up ahead? Go. No, we, no, we just right at the start. I had to stop my recording session right at the very end. We will oh, so it's right at the start okay. because From you any... can't save midway through these things. Even a maester. <laughs> hey, I'm um, on a guide at the moment. Yeah. Uh, can I control F for destruction? Then go. you've got like, uh, basically, you. what happened if you were here last time, Lucas, is... Yes. Yuna is going to marry Seymour. And your part oh, is like, yeah, I, I think that's where we left it. She was like, yeah. um, she just got proposed to Seymour. Yeah. yeah, and I went through the Thunder Plains when you weren't here, and like, Yuna's like, I'm going to say yes, I'm going to say yes, and everyone in your party's like, why are you saying yes? You don't even know this guy. And it turns out Seymour, spoilers, killed his dad. So he, right. ki he killed his dad, and everyone's like super salty about it, and Yuna wants to marry him so she can get close to him, so she can expose him, essentially. And what happens is, like, Yuna's gone into this little temple here, and Seymour's like, gone ahead with her as well. So you've got to rescue her from Seymour. Right, okay. That's the long and short of it. There's probably, like, more detail and nuance there, but whatever. So this is actually so... a boss fight with Seymour first, then we've got to escape from Makalania Temple. So are you ready for a, like, a game? Some gameplay? So you've got to beat yeah. Seymour. Please be so you're silent. good with the battle for Lady Seymour, Yuna, with Seymour yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Peace, piss. And then after that, I've got like a little, little bit of a walkthrough of how to get through the puzzle. Because he traps us in here. That's what he does. Like as he leaves, he just traps you in. Uh, oh right. Okay. Full on dickhead mode. And the thing is, you've got to be full on dickhead mode, aren't you? I mean, I guess. Then Yuna's here. Look, Are you ready? Yuna. Why is it going like really slowly? Is it like it's like stuttering a lot to you? We saw Jiskel's sphere. A little bit of frame stutters, yeah. Him. Do you know, like, it's been... The sharpness what has been happened? put up way too much. Mm. Lady Yuna, certainly you of all the cutscenes against it, the only one that's done this so far. That's very strange. Well then, why have you come here? I came... Seymour's got such a weird voice. Yeah, it really doesn't suit him, does it? I came no. To stop you. He's so soft-spoken for a I villain. See. Mm -hmm. He does go like full on anime betrayal though. mode at the end. It's great. <laughs> like he does go absolutely insane by the end of the game, and he's like just screaming, and the voice actors loving it. Here we go. Let's fight Seymour. <gasps> yeah, what's going on with like, the frame rate in this one particular section? What a pity. That's like the only chance he's going to ah, give you. Of course. Mm -hmm. Look at what great Temple background. I was like, no, I don't want to fight. The, life, the code of the guardian. How admirable. Well, if you're offering your lives, Ooh. I will have to take them. Keep in mind, if we die, we've got to watch this cutscene again. Oh, God, no. No, it's oh, no. Those RPG uh, mechanics. But they are also my friends. 
I will not stand by and watch them be hurt. I will fight you too. It's moments like this that you All wish right. like it was Final Fantasy X2, you know, she just pulled out a piece and just started dancing in it like woo so Yeah, in Final Fantasy X2, she just gets guns. <laughs> <laughs> and she just starts dancing in it. So this is boss music. It's very um somber boss music. It is, yes. So the first thing you want to do, you gotta take out that like, is squad. And mm. the moment you attack his squad, or when they die, they'll cast like a last spell on Seymour to protect him. But I do like that you can do right, this yeah. look as Tidus. You can shit talk Seymour. You can like properly shit talk him look. And then you lower his stats, so he casts ice, lightning, water, and fire in that order. So okay. what I might have to do is I'll move my camera to the other side so people can like see the attack order. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere really to put this where we're not in the way, but whatever. Yeah, get my little logo. There we are. Unless I move it to the bottom, maybe. Maybe move it down like here. It's Have nice to click on your stream and like see a nice big picture of Jared Leto. <laughs> <laughs> when does when does the picture of Jared Leto? Uh, the ad came up and it was. More oh, like right, they're yeah. really trap for. So let's talk like shit talking. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were bad news the first yeah. time. Yeah. Morbius. Dear shit talking. God, like, a movie oh, so insignificant. Apologies. I don't even think we recorded a video for Morbius, did we? Uh, we did, or yeah. Did we? I can't remember. We did. So Tidus' strength has gone up because he shit talks Seymour. He's so mad at Seymour that he's like, his strength went up. So there we go. Tidus is a bit stronger. Oh shit, if I put my thing down here, it covers up attacks. So I guess like top left is like uh, the best place to put it where it doesn't cover up most of the critical details. So we have here. So did you, um... Oh no. What's up? There's no, uh, there's no channel reward to like name the next Aeon. There is, because I'm going to put it on when the Aeon comes up. Okay, I'm going to try and win. You're going to try and win, I hope. So we're going to make you Unitalk. Say Shiva coming in. Let's make Unitalk to him as well. You may be a maester, but, but I, I will still, still fight. fight. You really don't believe that she's going to fight in the end. They burn with resolve. I don't know. Pure. I don't see why not. So magic defense has gone up. There we go. And luckily, because you know what order he casts his stuff in, you can just cast like m Null Blaze. So if we check, uh, so he right, casts yeah. Lightning next. So if just Kimari is just going to cast Null Shock. And through, via this, you can basically ensure that Seymour never does any damage. <laughs> so just. Oh, he took it up! Look at that man. We're a bunch of pricks. Let's do this. Oh, man, she hasn't got any of the decent magic yet. Um, fuck it. Uh, let's just steal. Sneak, let's toss him. Oh, turbo ether! I like that. I'm going to cast. I think water are next. Let's just double check. Uh, water and fire. Perfect. So we're just going to make sure that just we're immune to everything. Just whoop. It's nice and slow. Get ourselves all built up. I love that. There's nothing more satisfying than just the immune prompts coming up. I guess let's just kill these guys first. Because yeah. they keep jumping in his way. And casting auto potions. And Lucas, yes, that's very fucking annoying. <laughs> it gets really, really annoying. They just make us immune to everything. And it lasts for the rest of the match once his cat will stop one spell. So he keeps aiming oh, for right. Tider, so Kimari is like fully like immune to all his stuff for now. Let's go for Thunder. Alright, they've got to keep doing this. It's getting real annoying now. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure they ran out of potions after a while, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Mm, it doesn't seem yeah. like they want to run out of potions. It's always the worst. Like, it's just, you know, the classic with Pokemon now where they've gotten to the point where the Elite Four all have like five full restores. It's like, yeah. oh, just dragging this. It's the, whichever one it is in like, um, I think it's Sun and Moon, mm -hmm. where it's like the Rock Trainer and half of their Pokemon are sturdy and it's just like sturdy full restore, sturdy yeah. full restore, sturdy. It just makes restore. it so unfun to fight. Yeah. So let's just fuck it. Let's just start getting some shit in there. Just some grenades. Go on, Yuna. Just, you never expected this. 
God, that's how annoying is that? Literally every hit just restore a thousand health. Oh, God. So we're just gonna have to keep casting spells on him because they can't block yeah. spells. Or I can take it. Drain his health. Fuck you. Right, his men can't stop this. Do, do, do. So what we can do? Fuck it. I don't think. I think he's immune to threat. And I want to say like he's immune to everything. So you might as well bring no in. No one. No one's immune to a threat. You've just got to threaten them hard enough, guys. So we're just gonna just do black magic. Here we go. Fire. Her. This is the one thing that he can't really stop. Mm. You know, it takes a little bit less damage with whatever. If we're gonna get this damage in. Thundara. Oh no, whatever will we do? So it's a pretty simple battle, and the reason why it's. Oh, for fuck's sake. I just forgot how annoying these guys are. <laughs> I forgot how fucking frustrating they are. Mm -hmm. Of just like constantly doing that. So what we need to do? We need to start, start, we need to start throwing some fucking bombs in there. It's gonna keep grenading everyone. Uh! I mean, to be that did a lot. It does, but every time, look. Because we can't kill these guys. Just every single time they're restoring like a thousand of their own health. Mm-hmm. Uh, Super annoying. It is, that's why you've got to keep, we're just gonna just keep just eking away at what little health they have. Bam! There's like 400 damage here in that, for fuck's sake. It is incredible. I'm, I'm forgetting what like, the gimmick is to get rid of these guys. Uh, I guess you would be like kind of screwed if you can only do less than a thousand damage, but that's got to be pretty hard to like never be able to do a thousand damage. Per yeah, because if you all focus like, all your attacks on your him, entire party. Yeah, if you all focus all your attacks on him, mm -hmm. you will do over a thousand a turn. We don't have the thing though yet to get rid of um, uh, his shield, annoyingly. Ah, uh, okay. We could start like that little um, protect. Yeah, we've got like Arctic winds and stuff, so. Start throwing all these bollocks at him. There's a reason we saved all this. Because uh, <laughs> Shell doesn't protect him from this. <clears throat> oh, that's cool, man. Yeah. Because they're, they're items they just hit, so. They're restoring a thousand health, but it doesn't matter. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh. You know what? We're going to focus in. We're going to focus in on one of these dudes. Let's go for an Arctic Wind on one of these fuckers. I think he does more than a thousand damage to one of these guys. Nope. He's going to restore a thousand damage. Oh. Isn't this a great gameplay mechanic, Lucas? Yeah. It seems like to just be completely infinite as well. Yeah, they, I was thought they only had a certain amount. So he's going to focus up. So instead we're going to try something else. Okay. And this is the thing you can do. Focus raises our magic damage. Uh, for every time we cast it, you can cast it infinitely. So imagine if you could just cast... Um, uh, what was it now? Um, I don't know, like Tail Glow as many times as you wanted to. Oh, right, okay. Uh, delays the next turn of all enemies. Perfect. This one's like, how's life? We need to get told to fuck off. Fuck off. Shremedy, which does nothing. So we're going to keep doing this. We're just going to keep focusing, and then we're going to start <laughs> casting magic, and then we're going to see how they like it. I'm assuming not much. So focus. Just keep focusing up, Lucas. We're gonna, we've got to focus all in. As many as we can. And just focus energy plus it. Right, why, why have it worked like focus energy and just... Made it so that you can't cast magic anymore by accident. Oh, that'd be rough. Right, so now let's see how much damage we do with the spell on these dudes. Now we've focused up a bit. We're doing more mm. than a thousand. Now we're only 600, fuck's sake. Oh, God, yeah. So we need to focus it, we need to focus in a lot more. Just keep focusing, keep focusing. Are there anything all. like crits in this game? Uh, yes, but only on physical attacks, not magic. Right, yeah. Kimari. So I think you use like lightning last today or fire last. 
Uh, Do you want to use last? So I was going to give reward for win button still available. Uh, no, because I don't want to summon it because he kills your summons. Seymour oh. banishes your summons, so there's no point summoning them. So he's going to keep focusing up, to keep doing this until we just get as much as we can. Because you can just spam this infinitely, it will raise your magic every time. And Kimari remember has like water terror and stuff, so he can do a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. And every time we cast it as well, it also makes us stronger against magic. So this is really useful against Seymour. Because basically every turn now we take less damage from him and deal more damage in return. So if we just keep going. Now let's see what Kimari can do with that knight. Thundara. What's Thundara doing to this guy? When it's like three damage. 492. It's like. What a fucking ball like. Yeah. It's gonna take all fucking day in it. Because we didn't level up enough. So it's just. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> But I do wonder what goes through like, when they design stuff like this. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just make it so every time you hit them, there is Sora 1000 health. Yeah. Like, who who was sitting in the room going, I, I've got a really fun gameplay mechanic? Yeah. Let's just, like, focus all in on Seymour then now. Now we've got all, now we've got all like, uh, just defences up. Just all in on Seymour. Doesn't matter. Focus all in on him. We're gonna get this. Bam! For fuck's sake. We're gonna restore 2,000 health. <laughs> it's just. <sighs> so we are whittling him down. Oh, he's back up to 5,500. <sighs> yeah, just this is like. Whether Wonder leveled or not, this mechanic is not fun. I'm trying to think who's got like close to a uh... Oren. I'm gonna bring Oren in. I think Oren's got Warrior on. Or has he got Slayer? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Yeah, Oren's got Warrior. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep attacking with Oren, and I'm gonna just get him to the point where he's using his um, uh... limit breaks. His limit breaks should kill them all. Oh. Okay. And just keep throwing grenades. Oh no. Are you ready? Just a thousand health. Just immediately one thousand health. Yay! 1,000 health! Like, in response to everything as well. It's amazing. I lost the screen for a second. What's that, sorry? I lost the screen for a second, like, for being a weird thing. All I can hear is you talking numbers, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on in the screen. <laughs> I was trying to shit talk one of his, like, little Guado and see what happened. I was like, if I shit talk his Guado, will he get annoyed by it? And he's like, nah. His Guado don't respond to getting shit talked. <laughs> God, that's, that's just such a frustrating mechanic. Like, every time you do it, look. Fuck you. Another thousand health. Let's see if Silence Buster works. Like, it would be, it would be one thing. To, you know, they'll add five potions each or whatever. So they've got infinite. This is ridiculous. Luckily, Wacker's got a poison ball, though. Oh, he remedied himself, look. So I poisoned him. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Luke, are you having fun? Keep in mind as well, he's got a second phase. We figured out a way to get around this. Nope. Yeah. He's got a second Sorry. phase where he um, uh, and they've still got two thousand health lock. They've How still got redeemed a picture of possum. Possum's up. Hell yeah. Um, this was PlayStation Two exclusive at the time, but is now multi-platform. Yeah. Like the the HD remasters were on everything. Or maybe maybe on all consoles. I can't remember if they got PC ports. Yeah, well. I, Kimari. Kimari's got I presume they did. Yeah, he's pretty much on every cat, um, platform. Available. So Oren's nearly got his limit break, so we good. As soon as he gets his limit break, we good. And then once we've got that limit break, we're just going to kill both of his guys at once. Yeah, I was going to say, just get the, the two fucking the side troopers, the jesters. So Kimari's got his thing perfect, so what we need to do now is bring in Tidus. Because Tidus has Chia. Which raises attack. Oh, uh, yeah. So he's going to like make. He's going to raise his attack a few times. Cause she's just immune. She's just not having none of it. That looks so good though. And he's like casting this spell, and it's just no, no, thank you. 
So we're just cheering on Orin, because we're going to hope that just... Bushido is going to fuck these things all the way up. Is there anything else we can use to... Uh... Yeah, I believe it's also on Game Pass still. Uh, yeah, it's on Game Pass. It's all I'm playing with. Oh, nice, yeah. Alright. So Orin can't shit-talking, but we can just Dragon Fang and hope that this kills both his ads. Orin doesn't need to shit-talk. Like, his existence is the shit talk. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, it did 1500 and they're going to restore 1000. Oh, that's <sighs> rough. For <laughs> fuck's sake, if they do it twice. Oh my god, nearly completely negate a fucking limit break. I'm honestly, like, baffled at what we're supposed to do. Because there is a gimmick to I think this is the gimmick, but we just have to just try and provoke them, maybe, into attacking. Yeah. No, he's immune. So we just need to make sure every turn we consistently do more than a thousand damage. I don't oh, think. Carl, What's that? Uh, you can steal the high potions apparently. You can steal from them, but it doesn't stop them from using it. Oh. That's just what they drop when you attack them. It just says um, you can stop the the guards from healing themselves by stealing the high potions on this. Let's try that then. Let's get a go. Well, I just stole a high potion from him and he responded by using a high potion. Well, that was the other one, though. Oh, okay. So it's just steal his shit, then. So there's still a chance. So maybe at least they'll stop doing that, but, like, that's a really poor mechanic, isn't it, when you look at that? Of just... Yeah. Woo! Get that cure on Tidus. It also says, like, if you had Kamari's overdrive, you can cast Stone Breath to shatter them instantly. Oh, wait, they're, um, uh, weak to, uh... I assume they'd be immune to it, but special. Like, Oren can just go in. Fuck it, Oren can just go in. We have Petrify Grenades. Okay, now they're not doing it. Man, that's really rough if you don't know that. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> that's like a game changer. Yeah, now I know that because usually bosses are immune to all status effects. That's why right, I wasn't bothering yes. to use yeah. them because I thought they're normally immune to all of them. Well, so, there we go. I was like... This is getting to be a ball. Like, I'm just going to check that guy and see if it says anything. Now we can fuck him up. There we go. That was infuriating to watch. Feel my pain. There we Come, go. Anima. There was like a gimmick to it. I just forgot what it was. Mm. I didn't realise it was all about steel. So I brought Riku in. You didn't mention it. So here's his, like, his overdrive. Is this summon? Anima. Oh, this weird... Mummy bullshit thing. Oh, yeah. Well, you got exactly right there, Lucas, with mummy in both senses of the word. Did you see that thing around Anima's neck? Hmm. That's Seymour's mum. Oh, uh, okay. So he's got 18,000 health. Does that mean you can, like, use um, healing on it to damage it? Or is uh, it not a zombie fight? Lend me strength. I'm not sure, but we're not going to use our overdrive just yet because we want as much damage as we can. Like, we want to get as much damage on this thing. Plus, we need to bring in all members of our party to get as much XP. So, I think Riku's not had an attack yet. So, just use a grenade. We want all members of our party to have taken part just to get the maximum amount of XP. And we'll bring the summon in when it's about to use its overdrive. Oh, pain hurts so much. Pain's so fucking brutal. Ugh! Oh my god. Because it casts every status effect at once, including death. That is pain, to be fair. Yeah, but luckily Oren can just do like a thousand damage per turn, so we good. <laughs> oh, it's gathering power, Lucas. What do we do? Uh, we cut me. off everyone's arms so they can't lift up their arms for energy. There we go. To be fair, they kind of get rid of that in uh, Dragon Ball, don't they? Like, they just have shots by the end of it where it's just, oh, animals eating grass are like sending energy to Goku. Yeah. I think it's just animals are too stupid not to know. Like, humans have the ability to <laughs> decide whether or not they want to. Mm. Whereas animals kind of like just don't really have that much um, uh, agency in that regard. Well, Goku Ooh. decided they didn't. Phoenix down. Boost. <clears throat> so it's boosting now. It's using boost power, Lucas. What do we do? So I guess we'll. We can summon in two turns. We'll do I've that. I've been playing too much F Zero. All that happened in my head then was like, you've got boost power. It's the best, isn't it? Fire! Fire! 
me. It's going to cast pain. Everyone else just being Don't. silly and playing Elden Ring and I'm, I'm playing boost the, power. The real OG. The real get good game. So we'll Phoenix down Whacker and we're just going to bring in Shiva. Because that's basically what you do is you just you, you sacrifice your uh, Aeon. The only real way to, to survive. We tried to get um, Seymour to summon. You, you can't summon now. He no, has got an overdrive and it's unique and you can only see it in that one section. Here we go. Are you ready for yeah, the fucking we, uh, flex? It wasn't the summon, it was a different overdrive, right? Yeah. Are you ready for the flex though? Do you remember like the flex coat that um, uh, Squall has? Oh my Are you God, ready yeah. for the flex cape? Watch this. When Yuna catches this. Oh, that, probably, that costs so much fucking money. <laughs> How much money do you think that fucking took? To like... A lot. To render realistic looking fabric. So you're ready, Lucas. Has a character interact with it falling down on them as well. BAM! Oh, it's boosting. Animo is gathering power. And you're ready for like one of the coolest looking regular attacks. Take it. Oh, it's going to hurt so much. Luckily, it's immune to all status effects. Takes damage like a pro, though. So I love the look of Shiva's attack. Let me just do this. That is very cool looking, just for a neutral attack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal myself. I'm going to heal myself and then guard, and I should be able to survive its overdrive, because Shiva's got really good defense. So we'll defend, because it's going to use its overdrive. And its overdrive is actually really fucking cool, so you want to see Anima's overdrive. And I'm scared it's going to use it next turn. So let's just shield so up. You're just continually shielding there until that happens. No, you just shield, it basically protects you from most damage for the next turn. So we're going to shield yeah, that's now. That's what I mean, so keep doing it until it yeah. uses its overdrive, yeah. Because so this one looks really rad. Rawr! And Shiva's about to take this. So are you ready for the JoJo moment? So you thought this thing was edgy before, Luke, so you ready? Oh no. He's got another level of edge. It's that? It's, it's the edge. Oh no. <laughs> Bam! It's kind of a shame it's framed poorly because he's like, yeah. Oh, 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 the JoJo! Oh my god. Shiva is just tanking it. But it's because shield stops like 80% of all damage. But. If that's your party, it hits all of your party like 16 times for a thousand damage. Luckily, Shiva's tough, so she can just take it. Of course she can. If you'd not shielded there, that would have been like a 1 8 kill. I knew it was gathering power. So he's going to keep heavily striking it. Just do just 800 damage, delays its turn. And we'll get our overdrive so we can see like the shit hot overdrive. Yeah, that on your party is really scary because you can survive it, but it can hit like 35 times. Or something stupid. Animo is gathering power. So, how much health does it have? We still, we're not going to kill it in one hit, so we're going to cast a few more spells and try and kill it with the overdrive. Okay, cool. Let's look at the power. Look at the power of Shiva. Like those 2,000 damage spells. Ooh. Let's heal oh, Shiva. Well, she can take one more attack. So we should be able to get like, one more spell and then our overdrive, if we time this right. Anima is gathering power. So we'll use Blizzara, and then we're going to use Diamond Dust, and you get to see like the the sassiest of sassy clicks. <laughs> it's the best it's ever looked. It's like Shiva's Limit Break has never looked better. It's never been topped than it has in this game. So fuck you, we win. Fucking diamond dust. He's just so classy. Like, you should just be playing Beyonce music right now. Like, single ladies need to start playing. We're just. Oh! The power of an ice age. Are you ready? Oh! oh yes. How fucking good is that stuff? I really think, though, like, if you level her up enough, she should do three. Do you know the. Yeah. The sassy the click. Defeated anima. It will be mine. So uh, you can make this fight a lot easier by like summoning. Ugh. In that fight and using like an overdrive, it's just sometimes 
Seymour will dismiss it and then you can't use it during the anima moment. And right. so if anima gets its overdrive, you need to sacrifice an A onto him. So he's about got 6,000 health again, but he's not really a threat at this point. Especially when we do this shit. No magic for you. What do you think Seymour thinks when you throw a blitz ball at him? <laughs> Just right in his face. Ooh. Ooh. So Seymour's not fucking around. So, oh shit. Multi-fire. Do you remember what he did after fire? I think it was like lightning, wasn't it? I don't remember. Oh, that shit was ice. So I'm going to go for this and just hope. Hope this is the right one. Pew, pew. Yes, there we go. Timed it right. Immune. You know, cast it on Kimari and we're immune there. Excellent. And then Kimari's back, so Kimari can just do, I believe it was, Null Shock. Mm. And then Oren's going to bring Wakabat to life. I'm going to get Oren to bring him back to life. Plenty of Phoenix Downs. Just hopefully he won't... If he hits Wacker, Wacker's dead. So we can hope. Oh, Fox! I hate this. This is one of my least favourite parts of RPGs. When it's like you don't have enough turns. Oh, uh, right, yeah. To, like, beat the boss. Because it's just that thing of you don't have enough time because, like, basically you're just throwing items and you die every single time. So we can hope that we can just, like, magic break him again. He's gonna do it. Multi wall terror. He's gonna sting. Yep. Yep. Oh, God. There's only one thing we can do. We have to, we have to do it. Bring in the Oogaboog. Because I think his next one's multi fire. Right. Yeah. So if I've got it right, he's. Oh shit, no! That's a oh, fuck. Because I don't know the names. Fuck! I thought this was Ifrifit. Oh, you. Oh no. I was going to bring Ifrifit in because he'll cast multi fire and heal Ifrifit. So basically, this is our only move if he's killing all. We done goofed. If he's killing us in one hit. Shit, we can only be a null shot, so we can try and attack. Or we can just go for Thundara and just hope that we do enough damage. Oh, fucking hell, he's doing Fire Argo. Ooh! We're not going to survive the next one. No. Even if we, like, cast, um, we can hope. Because I think he's got, he's going to be Ice next. And we can't. No. We can't make ourselves immune to ice. No, wasn't it? It's a uh, water, fire, ice, lightning. He's going to use ice next. We don't have null ice. So we can't make ourselves oh, immune to that. Shit. So the only thing we can hope okay. for is... We can raise magic defense. Nah, fuck it. Just attack him. Let's go for the hit. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be lightning next. That's the annoying one. If we'd have brought in Irifit, Irifit would have took mm. it. And I think he's going to cast a spell straight away on Yuna, and Yuna's going to die. Oh, I honestly no. think he's just going to cast... Yeah, he's going to kill Yuna. So we have to do that entire fight again. Oh, no. Yep.